I can't wait to get canceled in like 40 years and white people are the minority, you know? And people dig up my old bits and I get interviewed like, Hurry, is it true that you once wanted the white minority to be victims of genocide? <laughs> I, I mean, you gotta understand, like, it was a different time back then. <laughs> But I want to take this opportunity to apologize to all the people of white that I might have offended. I want to apologize to the people of white in my life. My maid, my gardener, my indentured servant. And uh, I want you to know, I have white friends. I, I have white friends and they can vouch for me. I'm a good person. This isn't like me. Or I have, you, uh, you know George? George? John, Ringo, Paul, <laughs> Harry, Liam, Adele. There, there, there's so many, there's so many that I have. I'd also like to take this opportunity to apologize to white civil rights leader, Tucker Carlson, <laughs> for the terrible things I've said about him. Tucker Carlson, AKA the white Nelson Mandela, who's been imprisoned for 40 years in a Trader Joe's in Berkeley, California. <laughs> Maybe I'm being unfair to Tucker Carlson. No, don't worry, it's a setup for a joke. <laughs> because as a parent, I think about how every choice I make has some impact on my kid, right? And maybe he's a victim of destiny, right? He had no choice in the matter. He had no choice in the matter. Like, think about this. I'll give you two reasons why I don't think he had any choice. He was destined to be a piece of shit, right? Reason number one, his name. <laughs> his full name is Tucker McNear Swanson Carlson. Each one of those names sounds like a guy you should never accept a drink from in a bar. <laughs> Second reason why I think he was destined to be a piece of shit, where did he grow up? San Diego. I rest my case. I rest my case. Having a child during a global pandemic <laughs> is like boarding the Titanic after it hit the iceberg. Oh, come on, though. That's right. Like, like, you know, like, you know, you get there, you're like, oh, I can't believe the tickets are so cheap. You know? <laughs> Why are they making a sport in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? You know? <laughs> then you get on the boat and you're like, oh my God, we're sinking? Oh, group on, you fuck me again. 